In this video, we, were gonna, we are going to discuss the measure menu. Uh, and the first thing we're going to go to is settings. So in measure settings, there are some options we can set up to help us lay out uh, quicker and uh, accurate. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the horizontal tolerance and the vertical tolerance. The horizontal tolerance will allow you to set um, a radius or a basically if, if you uh, if you include the vertical, it'll, it's basically like a sphere um, of uh, influence around that point. So if I set my horizontal tolerance to a quarter and my vertical tolerance to a quarter, I basically have a sphere around my point to which I, I need to be in in order for my point to be staked in tolerance and for me to get a green check mark. If at any point I'm off on the horizontal, meaning I'm more than a quarter uh, quarter inch away from that point in the horizontal. Uh, my point will be red, uh, as far as it'll be a red X uh, as when I stake it. Um, if I am out by a quarter, either below the point or above the point, once again, it'll be a red X. Normally, uh, contractors actually ignore vertical tolerance and um, if they're laying out um, the, for example, if they're laying out the um, second floor, um, they're laying out the first floor hangers on the deck above or going through the deck above um, because they're staking low, they're going to ignore the toler ignore the vertical tolerance and they're only going to care about the horizontal tolerance to make sure it's in the correct place. Um, we have some presets that you can choose from for tolerance. Uh, we have uh, anything as low as a uh, 16th of an inch all the way up to an inch and you can also preset your own tolerance if you want to uh, go up above an inch. Um, uh, for example, if you are um, working in the dirt and you're digging trenches, um, you know, an inch here or there isn't going to affect you all that much. Uh, you're just kind of finding the, the location and the path. Um, so that might be that might be acceptable. Um, if you are putting in wall sleeves um, and they have to be in the wall, you probably want to go down to an eighth of an inch uh, just to make sure that you are in the wall and there's no issues there. Um, even when you set your tolerance to a quarter of an inch, you can still lay out to within a sixteenth. Um, it's just uh, the you are going to get the green flags and the uh, I'm sorry the green arrows that will tell you that you're you're you can stake your point. Um, as soon as you get into a quarter of an inch, you can still see how far you're off when you're um, when you're moving around with your prism and you're when you're trying to stake your point. Uh, same goes for the vertical tolerance. Um, down here we also have um, uh, we also have uh, laser aim, so they're standard and visual layout. Uh, normally, you will just keep this on visual layout. You won't change it to standard. Uh, the difference between these two is that visual layout uh, will adjust for any difference in elevation when you are using uh, the laser. So when you're laying out with the laser, and let's say the floor uh, is uneven, um, the robot will automatically adjust for the uneven floor, and it will get you the correct location uh, of that point, even if the actual um, level of it is off. Uh, we have our layout order, so we, the options are between next or nearest. Um, next is going to be the next point in numerical order. Nearest is going to be the nearest point to you. So once you stake a point, the next point that's going to uh, that is going to take you to is the nearest one, and not necessarily in an order if you have nearest selected. Um, we also have uh, our options here for measurement mode. So we have high precision and fast precision. Um, so what fast precision does is it takes uh, an, one measurement uh, from the robot to the prism and, and it gives you the readout right away. It's a quick measurement. It is still accurate. Um, uh, whereas high precision will take many measurements for about five seconds. Um, and then give you the readout of that. Um, so high precision is actually recommended to use when you're setting up your control points, um, just because it does give you that little bit uh, more of precision, uh, especially uh, when you're using a bipod with your layout rod. Um, it'll take multiple measurements and give it give out the average reading, which will be uh, a little bit more accurate than the fast precision uh, uh, fast precision measure mode. Um, once you've st once you've staked your control points with high precision, I would definitely recommend switching to fast precision when you're going to lay out. Uh, it's just um, five seconds might not seem like a lot, but when you're staking a point and you're trying to hold everything steady, um, fast precision actually works works a lot better for that. Uh, going back to our measure option here, 
Um, we have layout. This is where you go when you are going to be laying out points. Um, basically, once the instrument is set up and it's on the job site, you can select a point. Um, and once you select a point, uh, this will tell you where you need to go. So either back or forward, left or right, up or down. Um, and this will uh, change as you move around. Um, so you're always facing the instrument. Uh, if it's telling you you need to go back um, you know, five feet, then you basically move back away from the robot uh, while facing it uh, to get to that point. Or if it says forward, you go forward towards the robot. Um, so you're always facing the instrument when you're following these directions and instructions. Um, collect. Uh, this is where we can collect data from the field and uh, put it in, uh, basically put it into our job file. Um, you are able to collect points, lines, and arcs. Uh, you just need to switch between these uh, to basically collect points, lines, or arcs. Um, while you're collecting, you are going to go into the input form button and you're going to give your point a name. Uh, you can give it a description as well as a layer. Um, wall penetrations. Uh, with wall penetrations, you basically need to define a uh, wall penetration. So you would select two points. Um, I don't believe I have one in this model, uh, but we'll just use these hangers as, as an example. So if I'm going to select the face of the wall, so whatever my face of the wall is, and then the other end of it. Uh, after that, you click aim, and the robot will use the laser to aim to that point on the wall. Uh, layout plane. With layout plane, we're able to uh, basically um, uh, define a, uh, a plane with either a point, uh, three points, or we can do it with um, with defining an origin point and basically uh, uh, finding out where it uh, where the where it slopes to. Um, once you start staking, collecting points through this, uh, it will give us either um, red green or blue um, uh, icons. Um, the red is going to be a red triangle, green is going to be a green circle, and blue is going to be a blue square. So anywhere where you have blue, um, it will tell you that you need to fill. Anywhere where you have red, it'll tell you you need to cut, and green is going to be green intolerance. Um, and you can preset your tolerances um, based on your um, based on the settings, uh, measure settings in here. Um, so you can change the tolerances in here. So if this is set to a quarter, as long as that point, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be with the vertical tolerance. Uh, as long as uh, as long as this is set to a quarter, as long as you're within a quarter of your defined plane, um, it will be a um, a green uh, a green circle. Um, if you are lower than a quarter, meaning you are below that elevation, um, you're going to get a blue uh, square. And if you are more than a quarter above that elevation, you're going to get a, uh, a red triangle. Um, and that will be the layout plane.